Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading called What is your bird totem message? So in this reading, we're going to see what bird resonates with the energy that you're experiencing in your life right now and what the message is from this totem. I absolutely love birds, you guys. I'm so glad that I got this deck. It's absolutely amazing. It's called the Winged Enchantment Oracle deck. I highly recommend it to any other bird lovers out there. So let's go ahead and get started. All you have to do to get your message is just choose one of these stacks of cards here. We've got your bird totem and we've also got some clarifying cards as well. As always, keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Always trust your own inner guidance and your own intuition above all else. With that in mind, go ahead and relax, take some deep breaths, ground yourself in your energy, and choose one of these cards or a number that resonates the most with you. So we have number one, number two, number three, and number four. Once you have chosen, you can head to the comments below where my lovely subscribers help me by posting the timestamps. Thank you guys so much with your help with that. And if you choose number one, we're going to get started right away. So number one, what is your bird totem and what is your message? So you have the wren. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful card. The wren is your bird totem. Let's go ahead and see what this message is all about for you. So the wren is all about having an active spirit and a giving heart. The wren inspires you to have poetic inspiration. The, one, the wren symbolizes the energy of life and utilizing all of the tools materials, and supplies that you have available around you to create something beautiful in your life. The wren is about conservation, not wasting any resources. The wren is all about living life to its fullest. The wren is a symbol to stay alert right now. It's a message that you might need to move quickly and make some type of decision very soon in your life. This is a message that it's time to put things into motion, to keep on keeping on, to maintain your momentum. The run is also about socializing, expanding your circle, utilizing the people around you for help and for inspiration, asking other people for help with your accomplishments. The run has a message for you to use your determination to follow the path that is in front of you right now. Trusting in your inner spirit, having the agility to carry onwards. The run is all about stamina and aspiration, hard work ahead of you. So you might be receiving this card if you're looking to start some type of new business venture or if you're on some type of education path or if you're ready to bring new people into your life or you're getting ready to make a big decision or um, commit to something new in your life. And I love how we get this journey card right here. Maybe some of you guys are moving or going on a literal journey, or this is about like physical momentum in your life. Some of you guys might be called to get up and move and stir up your energy, maybe through physical activity or committing to some type of healthy lifestyle change. Now as a clarifier, we have the four of autumn, and this is saying time to help people who are less fortunate. Maybe some of you guys are being called to um, donate to others or to help to others or you're on a path that has a lot to do with service to humanity. This could also be a message to you to manage your resources wisely right now and achieve a balance in how you spend and save your money. So I hope that this message resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. 
Okay, so for those of you guys who choose number two, let's go ahead and see what your bird totem is and what the message is behind it. Ooh, so we got the owl card. This card is so beautiful. Check out this owl card. So the owl has to do with transformation and rebirth and is also kind of a message of death, but not death in the sense of like something absolutely horrible. It's just like the old that's leaving your life. So something is leaving your life and then new energy is coming in. So the owl symbolizes the arrival of mysterious things in your life, embracing the mystery, maybe not exactly knowing where you're going right now, but allowing the mystery to unfold. This is um, revealing to you some type of hidden path or some, something that was kind of held secret, information that might have been kept for you, but, but is actually now being revealed to you. Um, the owl is all about being a good listener, listening to your inner guidance, um, paying attention to any signs on your path right now. Um, this is also saying that there's this energy that you need to kind of stand back in your life and kind of watch from afar, like being observant of what's happening around you, realizing that you do have the, an opportunity here to take anything that's happening around you, even if it seems a little negative, and being able to turn that into something that serves you. Like you get to decide how you're gonna use the energy that's around you right now to move forward. The owl might also be a sign to go within, to take a, some quiet time to go within and kind of restructure your goals and so that you can redetermine what your purpose is at this time right now. This is also talking about a tough path, a tough path that you've been on right now, maybe feeling a bit lonely, feeling like you've kind of been retreating from life a little bit, but this, there's a beautiful message that this time of solitude has been bringing you awareness so that you're able to kind of come home to yourself and to find that clarity to strike out with a new purpose. So this is saying you're a master of the shadows, you're at ease in your solitude, the owl is your totem right now. There's also this really amazing message right here of abundance coming in. I feel like you're at this point in your life where you're getting ready to increase your abundance. So whether this is through uh, coming up with some new avenue for prosperity in your life, this could be uh, pursuing some type of career path or pursuing a new lifestyle or a new education path or something like that. And we see this card here, the dreamer with this path saying that it's time for you to embrace your true purpose in life. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. This is this card is basically the same as the fool in the traditional tarot, which talks about taking a risk, not overanalyzing things, just going with your immediate impulse, allowing yourself to be like a child again. So this is some energy that surrounds you right now. I hope that this message resonates. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel, and I'll see you later. Peace out. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose number three, let's go ahead and see what your bird totem is and what the message is for you. All right, so we got the dove card. Oh, I just love these cards. They are so gorgeous, you guys. So of course, I love the dove because my name is Promise and like the symbol of promise is a dove. And so I just, I always have had a connection with this bird. So yes, this this bird is kind of like a promise to you of hope and peace. Um, the dove is talking about being in alignment with your divine feminine energy. So even if you're someone who identifies as male or maybe you're someone who doesn't subscribe to a gender, um, this is saying everyone has the energy of the divine masculine or the divine masculine and the divine feminine in them, but your divine feminine energy is being heightened right now. So divine feminine energy encompasses intuition, uh, softness, tranquility, serenity, receptivity. And so this is about being very sensitive to your surroundings. The dove is talking about uh, allowing yourself to be very gentle with yourself right now. Maybe self-care and meeting your needs is something that's very important to you right now. Nourishing yourself, nurturing yourself. The dove is a symbol of 
the calm after the storm. So maybe you went through a time that was a little bit darker recently, but this is kind of a message like it's over. Um, you went through that death kind of cycle and now there's a cycle of rebirth and new beginnings headed your way. This is saying that there's peace coming into your life right now and you're going to feel so much more compassion for yourself and the energies around you as you make this transition. The dove is a symbol that you're in love with life. You're in love with love itself. Maybe there's new love headed in your life or an, uh, an awakening of love in a, in a relationship you're already in. This is talking about uh, a united community. We see all these doves here, like the flock mentality. I definitely see uh, you connecting with soul family, or if you've met new friends lately, or you have a group of people surrounding you, this is a clarifier, like these people are meant to be in your life. Like this is a good time to kind of have social events and connect with other people and connect with like-minded people. Um, this is saying it's not time for you to fly solo right now, like look for opportunities for love or for romance or connect with people that you have a romantic connection with or the, that person that you have a romantic connection with or um, seek out more friends or maybe some group activities. Um, this is saying it's time for you to merge your energy with other people and to see what unfolds for you. There's power in collaboration. There's wisdom within the whole. So the dove energy overall is about engaging with life, embracing peace and aligning with others. And we see this light message. I feel like you're just being um, lifted up with this energy, like a clarifier that like you're entering into a really beautiful chapter right now. And then we see the Empress card, which is all about creativity, taking action, um, focusing on success in your life, planting seeds. Um, so yeah, a beautiful, uplifting time and uplifting energy around you right now. So I hope that this message resonates with you. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose number four, let's see what your bird totem is and what the message is behind it. All right, so you got the swan card. Another absolutely beautiful card from this gorgeous deck. So of course the swan card is all about beauty. Um, embracing your inner and outer beauty. The swan symbolizes the poet. The swan symbolizes the muse, the strength in beauty. So when you receive the swan card, maybe this is a message to really focus on your inner and outer beauty right now, whether it's through affirmations or doing mirror work or just um, pampering yourself a little bit or wearing your favorite clothes or doing your hair nice or whatever it is, makeover time or something like that, focusing on your, your inner and outer aesthetic. The swan is also talking about bringing the power of music into your life. So maybe going to music events or music concerts or performing music or singing if that's something that you like or making a playlist that um, that feels uplifting to you or feels inspiring to you, allowing yourself to be creative, surrounding yourself with art and music. Um, this one is all about harmony and um, expressing yourself, allowing yourself to express your energies and your emotions. This, the swan card is telling you it, it's time to soften the harshness of the world around you and allow yourself to indulge in aesthetic and in music. Let the music play. Let the good in your life unfold. Let your books pile up. Savor the brush strokes of your amazing artwork. So, um, and you know, this helps me. Sometimes I feel like life is just all work and no plagues. I tend to work very hard and I sometimes just, you know, pouring myself a little glass of wine or getting some mineral water and putting on some beautiful music and just, um, you know, maybe doing some painting or going out for a night of culture or events or, um, you know, going out to a beautiful place to eat and indulging is a nice time, a nice way to really express yourself. Sometimes you just have to get dressed up and go out on the town. That's kind of how I feel about it. When life gets kind of boring and 
and just mundane. Sometimes art, m music, poetry, aesthetic, fashion um, is something you can use to bring that color and bring that harmony back into your life. So this is saying it's okay sometimes to peacefully escape the harsh realities of life in this world. This is allowing yourself to bring forth elegance and class and taste and surrounding yourself with that. This is saying that in our life, sometimes there's dark corners that need light. There's shadows that need refinement. Time for you to indulge your creative impulses that are yearning for fruition right now. So Swan overall is all about ordering the chaos, heightening your senses, unfolding grace. And we see this Angel of Miracles card coming in. It could be that you're gonna have an opportunity connected to the arts or connected to something that has to do with like your sensual uh, energy or something like that. And this card actually, funny enough, we see Angel of Miracles and then this card says, wonderful news is on its way, success and public recognition. So that's absolutely amazing. I hope that this reading resonates with you and thank you so much for coming to my channel. You guys, I really like this message. I, I thought this was kind of fun doing animal totems. I'm thinking about getting another deck with more animal totems or uh, animal guides and reading messages. So if you think that I should do that, then definitely give this reading a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the reading you got in the comments below. And if you would like a personal reading, check out the comments in the description. It has information on how to order a personal reading from me, all right? Thank you once again for being here and coming to my channel, and I'll see you later. Peace out.